What's going on, y'all, and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So I was talking to one of my friends about dividends and dividend growth investing, and I came to a realization that not many people realize and understand how dividends work and how great they really are. So I decided to make a video where I explain the greatness of dividends and how investing into dividend companies are worth it. That's all coming up right after this intro, so stay tuned and I'll catch you right after this intro. Before we talk about the greatness of dividends, let's talk about what dividends are. The simplest way to put it is there are a few companies out there that will reward their investors with a small percentage of their investment through something called a dividend. It's kind of like a thank you for investing to them. And it's really cool because you're basically getting paid to invest into these companies. And then you can see these are some of the companies that are paying me for investing to them. So you can see that I've got Target, I've got Visa, Aflac, and the list goes on and on. These are just for the last few months. And you can see I'm getting a few cents here and there, but all that's going to add up. And I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more later in the video. And of course, the more you invest, the more money you'll be receiving in dividends. So now that we know what a dividend is, let's talk about why we'd want to invest into these companies in the first place. Well, these dividend paying companies are typically a lot less riskier than other companies are. They're so much more safer. They have healthy financials and a healthy balance sheet. If you compare it to, for example, a penny stock, penny stocks will basically, they have the opportunity to go bankrupt overnight or in a few weeks, and you don't really know when. These companies have a ton of money on hand, and they're able to keep paying dividends on and on. And you know that they'll last through generations and generations. So they're a lot more healthier, they have money on hand, and they're so much more stable. And speaking of stability, another reason why you'd want to invest into these companies is because of stability. For example, this company Johnson Johnson has paying a dividend for 58 years and not only paying that dividend, but increasing how much they pay for 58 years. That's through the 2008 recession, that's through the pandemic, and that's through pretty much any dip that you can think of in the market in the last 58 years. They've been nonstop growing that dividend for 58 years, and that's pretty amazing considering how much has gone on in the world in the last 58 years. And it's not just Johnson Johnson, it's pretty much all of these dividend paying companies for the most part. Of course, there are a few here and there that aren't the best companies, but I'll talk about how to pick and choose in another video. But let's be honest, 58 years of nonstop dividend growth is amazing. You're basically getting a pay raise every single year. On average, in the last five years, it would be 6.32%, which is amazing. And this is just another look at it. So you can see in 1990, Johnson Johnson paid about 16 cents per share. So for every share you own, you'd get 16 cents. But now in the year 2020, they pay almost $4 per share. So for every $152, you'd get back about $4, which is a huge increase from the 16 cents. And of course, there's been stock appreciation. But nonetheless, that dividend has been increasing yearly, every single year. And honestly, there's tons of other reasons why investing into these companies is a great thing. But I already have a video where I talk about these reasons and why dividend growth investing is really great. And I'll leave a link somewhere on the top or in the description if you want to check that out. But for this video, I want to kind of get more into the concerns and questions about dividends in general. So let's talk dividends. So one of the questions my friend asked is, why would people invest into dividends if they could be making more money doing options or selling puts or calls or buying these penny stocks and all that, right? Well, the reason why is if you take a look, according to Dividend.com, in the past 80 years, dividends have accounted for more than 40% of the total returns on the S&P 500, right? So the reason why it's so easy to invest in dividends is because all you have to do is find a good company, invest your money, let that stock appreciate over time and accrue dividends in the meantime. That's so much easier to do than learning all these small companies, doing options and all that. And another question one of my friends had was, what's the point investing into these companies if you're just going to get five cents here, three cents there, two dollars there, four dollars there? Well, it's all of the power of reinvesting those dividends. You're not really looking for that cash flow right now. What you're doing is you're reinvesting those dividends and letting that accumulate over time. So a good way to think about it is it's kind of like getting your money to work for you. And just to kind of picture it, think of a little snowball that you push down a hill. That snowball will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it might be five cents right now. So if you remember in the beginning, I was getting about four cents, five cents. If you've been following my channel, but now I'm getting almost close to a dollar on all these shares and I can show you a little bit better, like just an example of that, but reinvesting your dividends will basically set yourself up for the future. 
So this is a free dividend tracker that I use and quick shout out to True Financials. Dennis from True Financials hooked me up with this and it's just a free dividend tracker and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check it out. You can check out his channel or whatever, but yeah, it's a free dividend tracker that you guys can also use. So visualizing how your money can work for you can be a really hard thing to do, but let me give you guys a quick example of how these five months, my dividends have been working for me. So you can see in the first month of July, I've got about 11 cents. And of course, that number has been growing as I've been adding $50 every single week. And you can see I've got up to almost $3 per month, which is awesome, right? And on top of that, I've got about $10 in total dividends. But that number will keep increasing as I add more and more money. But the pattern is there. You can see that I'm getting and getting more and more dividends as time accrues, right? But let's take a look at my public account where I don't add any money at all. So I started off with 52 cents and I have about $150 invested and I don't add any more money. And you can see it's been 52 cents and then 52 cents and then it went up to 63 cents and then 74 cents. So you can see that as I have my dividends reinvested, that number keeps going higher and higher. The reason why is because I'm rebuying those shares and those shares are giving me more dividends as I have more number of shares. And I know you guys are probably sitting there like, yo, this dude really getting set over $10. Like, bro, what's wrong with him? But let's be honest, this number is going to keep on increasing as I add more and more to my investment, right? So my initial goal is to put at least $1 million into my portfolio. And as I do that, if I have a 5% dividend yield, my growth is going to be about $50,000 in incoming dividends every single year, which is going to be amazing. That's enough to live off of. And it's kind of hard to picture but as you invest more and more, this is certainly a possibility. My account is really small, but we're growing on it. We're working on this journey together and it will grow over time. And that's one of the cool things about dividend growth investing. It's kind of like raising a baby. And it sounds so corny to say that, but we're basically raising this baby together. And that baby, we're feeding it. We're giving it money every single week, $50 a week. And that baby is going to grow until it eventually has a huge portfolio of about $1 million. And that's my personal goal. And then once we get there, we'll get about $50,000 every single year. Man, I don't know what's going on with that baby analogy, but I just want to show you guys that investing into dividends can be really fun to watch the growth of dividends. But yeah, you know what? Actually, that's our baby. We conceived that baby together. So leave a like for our conceived baby. So let's get right into this Acorns hypothetical projection. And by the way, if you want to check out or learn a little bit more about Acorns, watch one of my first videos. It is my first video, so honestly, it's not that great. But if you want to learn a little bit more about Acorns, definitely check that out. So let's get into this hypothetical projection. So if I invest $250 every single week for 30 years, I would end up with over a million dollars. And I'm only investing about 400 k but my return is huge at 700 k The reason why the return is so much higher than the investment is because of the dividends and the dividends being reinvested. Of course, there's going to be stock appreciation, but most of the money going into this market is going to be because of my dividends being reinvested. And that's the power of compound interest. And as Albert Einstein said, compound interest is the sixth wonder of the world. And you can really see it here. This is a great visualization of how that and dividends reinvesting really works and can be great. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. If you made it this far in the video, comment hashtag our baby. We're going to start a trend. That's the new thing. Only OGs will know. And if you have any questions about dividends or dividend investing or anything in general, please leave a comment. You can email me. You can go on my Instagram, leave a comment there, whatever you have to do to get your question across. And I'll definitely be there to help you privately, or I can do it in a video, whatever is easiest for you. And with that guys, I appreciate you guys for listening. And oh, yo, one more channel update. I'm thinking about making a TikTok. Yeah, I really sunk down to the level, but you know what? I'm going to make a TikTok for the channel. Hopefully, it'll help us expand and grow a little bit more. So that's definitely coming up in the future. And with that, guys, remember, everybody eats.